Greetings, citizens of Nerdtropolis. Sean Todd here, the mayor of Nerdtropolis, and on this episode of Real Insights, my guest is Tara Lee, who stars in the VR series, The Faceless Lady. Hello, Tara. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Going great. It's great to meet you. Is it true you're all the way, you know, across the world right now? I am. I'm in Scotland, and I, I'm very lucky right now. I have a view out over East Glasgow. So that is, yeah, that's correct. I just came here two days ago. I am jealous. Scotland is amazing, but then where are you in America? I am in Texas, which is also an amazing place itself. Yeah, no, I think it's me that should be jealous, Texas. I would love to go to Texas. It's really awesome, tons of great cities. So next time you come in, we'll give you the full Nertropolis tour when you're oh out gosh, here. Please, yes, I would love that. Congratulations on this role in The Faceless Lady. It's such a cool project. Yeah, thank you so much. It's definitely one of those, it felt like when we were doing it that we were creating something almost like historical in terms of like technology and it's the first of its kind. Um, so we all felt very like present and lucky filming it. And it's so exciting to know that in like less than a week, just over a week, people are um, going to get to really, like, really experience it. It's fully immersive, so... Yeah, I, I saw the first two episodes already. I'm dying to actually experience it with my MetaQuest. I didn't get to watch it with my VR that I have here, right here. I'm, I'm going to do the interview just like this. Oh, um, man, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's literally what John, looked, the director, looked like to us the entire time that we were working. It was so funny. That's really bringing back some PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find a way to do this interview because you can do Zoom via the Meta. Uh, quest and so i was like that'd be funny if i popped in as like my character on, on the quest and doing this interview but uh a little no, too a little hard. too difficult that for this for this great interview it might be smart for us <laughs> <laughs> but i i love how each episode ends they're pretty like big endings already yeah. for the first two episodes so like i'm so hooked of what is going to happen uh within the next ones i need to know what drew you to this unique project it's blending vr technology with some irish folklore as well yeah um, I, well, a huge thing for me when the breakdown first came through and I saw Crypt TV and Eli Roth, I was like, because mm. I'm a I'm a big Eli Roth fan. I'm always drawn to the horror genre. Um, so that was straight off the bat. I was like, okay, this is going to be something really cool. Um, and then, yeah, just I mean, obviously, to be a part of something that hasn't been done before was was really um, was really interesting to me. And it was it was the story. It was it was getting to tell a weirdly modern story that is from 17th century Irish folklore. So this was inspired by um, actual story of a Lady Margaret who haunts Belleville Castle in Cork in Ireland through the mirrors and reflective surfaces. Um, and this was an actual woman who refused marriage to an actual Lord. Um, and I mean, there's a line in the first episode where one of our, one of the characters says, feminist icon and it's it's true it's really it's quite a modern story and so that was something that was really cool to me was anything that blends that brings you know Irish folklore that's cool um the story was sick the character of Ella um I saw <clears throat> I just really saw the heart in her and it really um her character especially as the season progresses um really has a lot of like mental health themes and struggles there so it just felt like a really meaty project with a very exciting team and yeah how could you how could you not want to do that yeah and, it's one of a kind that's for sure yeah 100 percent. and how does it feel to have you mention it eli roth has his stamp of approval on this project i gotta talk to him for thanksgiving he's like one of my favorite creators and directors but yeah so how does it feel to have eli ross saying this is a cool project i'm on board it, like i woke up i woke up um one morning last week to a eli ross dm and i literally was like this is surely this is a fan account like someone's just like pretending to be i was like oh no he really likes this he's really happy with this he I even, i'm pretty sure he said that it was like the best thing that crypt tv had made um and to see him excited and be like yeah like this is you know this is what we set out to do that's just so cool um yeah so that was a real kind of like pinch me moment 
Yeah, he's a legend in this genre for sure. And he's going to deliver a lot of great stuff upcoming. He's a trailblazer, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. And you talked about your character a little bit. You know, what's, how did you prepare for this role? And knowing that this is going to be made for VR, is there any types of, you know, different approaches you did? The camera obviously is panning out a little bit closer. It's doing some really cool angles um, that mm -hmm. I have not seen before because this is made for VR. So how did you prepare oh. for this project? So I prepared, um, taking the VR side, I prepared like for the character in a similar way to how I usually would in terms of um, I have like specific sounds and playlists and music that like really put me into her skin. Um, and I really drew from, Ella for me was quite cathartic um, because I drew from some recent experiences with mental health, um, which to me, when I read the script, I was like, okay, this is someone who, without giving away any spoilers, has a bit of a history, has been told things about herself that she's trying to work out if they're true or not. And she's kind of having a bit of an existential crisis. So there was a lot of work in kind of streamlining feelings that I had and finding them in, in Ella um, and finding ways to, you know, obviously you don't shoot things in order they're out of sequence. So being able to pull from certain emotions at certain times, I have to really i'm quite a visual person so my um my hotel room was literally like the brain of a mad woman just splayed out on the walls um and a lot of physical kind of fitness stuff because there was a lot of stunts especially as the as the series goes on and then yeah there was some huge differences with filming vr that john really sat me down um before we started and was like kind of just opening my eyes to a whole other way of shooting which was so exciting and the 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 best way that he put it was it's almost like theater because you are filming instead of just seeing obviously like filming like the boxes that we're in now you are filming 180 degrees in every direction at all times so even though the camera looks like it's on you it's actually taking in every single person standing next to you. So you can't really be off at any time. You're always on. And actually, I think because this is very much an ensemble, um, that really that really brought us all together. And we were all, you know, feeding off of each other and, and playing with each other. And um, so really for us, yeah, we just had to take into account your body is always in. So it's not just your face. And there were times when John was like, okay, when we're far from you, we're really far. So I'm going to tell you to play it up. And when we're close, we're really close. So I'm going to tell you to dial it back a little bit. Um, so we really needed that guidance, which he was great with. Um, and yeah, it was just kind of the first time experiencing a, uh, yeah, just like theater on screen, I guess. Yeah, and I love the cast, and I love how all y'all are kind of units. Like you said, it's a bigger field of view, so everyone has to be on, like, the same steps and dancing, can't be out of the vision of field. And um, yeah. the setting is awesome. Like, is that a set or is that on location? Are y'all at the castle? Because everything looks authentic. It's, like, going back into time. That That is an actual castle in the Irish countryside. And it is, if you believe in, you know, um, ghosts and the supernatural, that is a haunted castle in the Irish countryside. And one of the days we were there, I mean, we were there pretty much every day, but it was Halloween whilst we were there and we were doing a night shoot and there was people doing seances. Like it was, I, on my first day was fucking terrified and then as it went on I was like okay Tara like you can't be scared your character is not that scared like you need to dial it back a little bit but um it was it was one of those shoots where every single door you open it was like this is stunning and there's I think in episode five maybe there is an outside shot and it's sort of church ruins um with a lot of overgrown vines and and a stained glass window and when you see it it's it's it honestly feels like an animated enchanted castle but it's it's real and it's in Ireland and yeah it was it was very much tangible and very easy for us to to get into character when you're literally living on that set yeah, everything looks so cool. Obviously, it's real, so you definitely feel that. I can't wait to watch this on my VR because I'm going to feel like I'm part of the cast. I think that's what yeah, it's going to happen really, when you end up yeah, watching yeah. it like that and you're following and you're getting all the creepiness of it. Uh, last question, what can viewers expect in terms of scares and suspense? There's a couple of things I saw that kind of just caught me off guard. They're nothing like major, but like I was shocked at like how it mm -hmm. shot and some really cool scary factors. 
Yeah. Um, so it's if you imagine those things that scared you are like flying at your face. And if you, you know, those shots, there was one shot in particular and without, you know, again, no spoilers, but it, I remember the director of photography being like, this is the most incredible shot that I've ever seen. And I was like, because mm. Brendan was like, genius. And it's wherever you look, something fucking scary is happening. So you can expect things to be, you know, coming at you. Even if you're predicting something scary might be there when you look to your right, you look to your right and it's really fucking there. Um, so it's it's really immersive. Things are coming at you. Things are falling on you. You don't want to look, but you know you have to. Um, and also the best thing about it is you can literally watch it multiple times and focus in on different characters because everyone's got their own stories going on. Um, so yeah, it is, it really is one of a kind. I've never, I've never experienced anything like it and it is very scary. That's for sure. Yeah. As a film and TV lover and a technology lover, like this is like the ultimate experience that's going to happen. So everyone's going to really enjoy this. I can't wait to experience it because the first two episodes got me hooked and uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have some nightmares for sure. Yeah. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Tara. This was really fabulous. And until next time. Thank you so, so much. Have a good one. Once again, this is Sean Taj, the mayor of Nertropolis and stay tuned for more movie news, reviews, interviews, and trailers.